one's called the texts. A fan smut. <coughs> Me and Phil. Oh, no, I should do this in a British accent. Me and Phil were the only ones at the side of the dinner table for Christmas. I'm not doing it. No. Me and Phil were the only ones on this side of the dinner table for Christmas. We've been sitting here for three hours listening to my family stories, same as every year, except this year is different because me and Phil are together as a couple. We haven't told anyone though. And this is where it begins. I had a crush on him for a year, but I didn't want to lose him as my friend. I hid my feelings like a little twat. <laughs> but one night when we were at a party, he was drunk. When he's drunk, he says shit on accident. Of course, they have to be drunk, cause why wouldn't they be sober? And he confessed his entire feelings for me. My uncle's telling a story that me and Phil are only half listening to. I take a side glance at him, and he has a devilish smirk on his face. I gave him a look asking what, but he just turned, pretending to listen. So I just turned to listen. Suddenly a warm hand pr presses on my thigh. He wants the booty! Sending chills down my back. Then my phone vibrates. It's Phil. Are you kidding me? <laughs> did I scare you, Danny? Oops, sorry, babe. Yeah, it did. Jesus, Phil. Danny? Okay, why would you call Dan Danny, first off? His and moved up my thigh an inch. I think he meant his hand, but he forgot the hand. The warmth making me have thoughts that I want to avoid. Want to avoid. Oh? <laughs> dirty thoughts, dirty thoughts, dirty thoughts everywhere. Oh, I didn't mean to scare you. I bet you like my warm hands on you, don't you, Danny? Okay. I do like your hand, but this can wait for later, Phil. My breath hitched a bit, and he doesn't move his hand. He moves his hand up even more, and an inch from my private. He wants the D. Phil, please, later. We can't do this right now. I bet in your mind you'd want my hands playing in your hair, feeling your chest, unbottoming your jeans. I try to ignore his words and try to listen in a story that now my mom is telling, but I can't stop my breathing. Phil, please, baby. I'm begging you. Please stop. You're going to make me show. Oh? Oh, I love it when you beg. When you beg me to kiss you, beg me to help you get your tight jeans off, beg me to take off your boxers. What? Oh, they're talking about sex. With the birds and the bees, except with two men. It's no use now. I'm def What's that word? Definably, okay. I'm definably showing. So I slowly take my napkin and put it on my lap. Phil's hand is now moved right on top of my napkin, frozen there, and I flinch, but no one notices. God damn it, Phil! Stop! You're gonna make me. Oh. You're gonna make me do something! If I can't put that on YouTube. And I don't want to mess myself at the table. Oh! Right when I send this, Phil starts to slowly rub and palm me through my pants. Oh? My breath catches in my thought. This was, this is all during Thanksgiving when family is there. My breath catches in my throat? You're, go home man, you're spelling atrocious. And I try not to move or make any faces that might give me away. I take a look at Phil, who's looking completely innocent, innocent, as if he's actually listening to the stories that are being told. Hmm, I wonder how great your hands would feel on me right now. I love your strong hands grasping my body. Okay. I look at his privates, and he is harder than... Oh. Which turned me on even more. Okay. Hmm, Phil, please. This can wait till later. They're going to see us. His hands, we, we still touching me. And my member was throbbing for his attention. Your member? Your membership card? To Petco? He knows how badly I want him now. He can see it in my eyes. Okay. I want you to scream my name. I want you to beg for more. <laughs> beg for more and more of me, Daddy. What the fuck? Fuck, Phil, you made me do the thing. Everyone turned to me, including Phil, who was somehow moved who somehow moved his hand on Zine. My mom looks at me worried. Are you okay, Dad? You do not look well, and you haven't spoken at all. Because they're When you're speaking about your childhood memories, honey. I take a deep breath through my nose. Yeah, I I'm just not feeling well. Lies. 
You can go home if you want to. If you're not feeling well, I'm not going to make you stay here and suffer. Phil jumps in. Yeah, I'll take him home. It's getting late anyway. Merry Christmas, Mrs. Howell. Merry Christmas, boys. Feel better, Dan. My mom says cheerily. Oh, this is Christmas. So Santa's... <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. That's, that's not Christian. <laughs> Me and Phil hurry out fast so they don't see our very visible bump. Did they get a boner? Growing in our pants. Yeah, they got the boners. We ran home to our flat. For Americans, it's called an apartment. Since we were at a restaurant not far from it, I unlock the door, and within moments of being in the door, Phil pushes me up against the wall, kissing me with the, okay, that escalated to the, oh, look, this whole page, this next page, is all about how they did, did it. Oh. And in the end, they fell asleep, they had sex, and yep, the end. Thanks for watching, everybody.